श्री शांताराम जी नाईक सर द फायनान्स बिल इज बेसिकली टू एम एन वेरियस लेजिस्लेशन विच फॉलो फ्रॉम द बजेट स्पीच ऑफ द ऑनरेबल फायनान्स मिनिस्टर एंड देर फॉर द बिल सिक्स टू एम एन द इनकम टैक्स एक्ट रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया एक्ट सेंट्रल सेल्स टैक्स एक्ट स्मगलर्स एंड फॉरन एक्सचेंज मैनिपुलेटर्स फॉरन प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट नार्कोटिक्स एंड ड्रग्स सैक्रोटी एक्ट फेमा एक्ट एक्सेट्रा सो दीज आर द मेन लेजिस्लेशन विच आर सॉट टू बी एमेंडेड बाय द फाइनेंस एक्ट बट माई बेजिक क्वेश्चन इज इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू इयर्स अवर बजट विल बी टेकन आउट मेनली बाय द पब्लिक प्राइवेट पार्टनरशिप and vast budget is going to be to go in this sector and at our role our picture with respect to public private sector is not clear major part of this budget is going to be redundant redundant because major policies and programs including railways port trust road highways everything is coming under public private partnership and nobody knows the nature of that huge budget and therefore your minister mr nitin gadkari is not bothered about your budget he is not concerned because he is bringing the entire budget through private public partnership on his own so at we do not have any legislation to regulate public private partnership if that legislation is not there how are you going to organize this whole budget system secondly if you don't have a legislation and depend upon only the agreements which each department is going to have with the foreign partners specifically each officer drafting a agreement separately how are you going to regulate his actions the whims and fancies of officers concerned are going to govern the agreements which are going to be executed you will have given no direction how an agreements should be there you have not laid down any limitation as far as signing agreements is concerned and secondly ultimately if you go to see highways roads shipping everything is going to be included in this budget and therefore i am asking why there is no legislation to govern the contracts you will see because there is no legislation eventually there will be several litigations and and these companies will draw you to a court on some ground or other and you will be facing litigation all the time that is because you have not chartered any program no legislation and therefore you kindly think seriously about this aspect of ppp model and regulatory secondly what is make in india has anybody made clear does your finance bill makes it clear any legislation which you seek to amend under finance bill has it made any anything clear whether any foreign company has agreed to manufacture their goods in the country totally with technology transfer then you name those companies according to me not a single company foreign company of which the government is to boast has agreed even the defaults exposition which took place in goa recently even from that nothing has come out no defense company from abroad is going to set up a industry in goa or elsewhere anywhere and therefore 
you what you are doing exercise is futile. What defense production units, which are defense production unit going to be established in India and where? Let uh, some timetable be established that these units are going to be established at this place. Are they going to share technology? Let this be also. Is there any provisions in one of those acts which you sought to amend for this purpose? And if no technology is going to be transferred, then forgive me to saying that you are committing a fraud on the people of India because you are given that commitment in very specific terms that we are going to bring in technology and people are going to manufacture goods in India. Secondly, you are, we are putting laws on our website. Every law is available on our website. Every rule is available on our website. And why those agreements which you sign with respect to PPP model are not available on the website? Yes. All those ag agreements should be made available on the website of Government of India so that so that public can examine whether proper agreements have been entered into. Let us go to industrial corridors. Why you want industrial corridors? It's all our policy only. But you wanted industrial corridor to be exempted from land acquisition attack. Why? Because on the both sides of the industrial corridor, you wanted to give plots to your own favorites. And because that was not possible, you have still not gone ahead with land acquisition. You have, could not favor those BJP cronies, and therefore the thing is not going, not because of anything egregious, but because you could not favor those people of yours. And therefore, this thing has lingered. Ease of doing, ease of doing is the business important part. For the purpose of ease of doing, let the government say, what is the thing, which is the rule you have amended? The first thing should have amended was rules of business of government of India. If you want to uh, lower the scale, supposing there are seven steps involved in the ministry for going files, have you curtailed by any rules, business rules, from 7 to 2 or 3, as PM used to say. Why you are not doing, business, doing this? Have you established commercial course? Have you given confidence to foreign investors that we have amended these rules for your sake? Please come and invest. No. You have amended FEMA some, for some, some minor thing. You are going to establish tribunal under certain needs. If you establish tribunals, you think that because of establishment of tribunals, people will get relief, the one step is there. But 226 is still there. 226, Article 226, everybody will go under Article 226. You could not curtail by establishing tribunals the 226. Conclude and Shandram. lastly, I'm telling you, Sagarmala project, Sagarmala project involves connecting ports. If Ports are to be connected. Which are the ministries which are involved? It is the highways, it is shipping, it is road transport. And who is going to give budgets of vast, vast type, that which requires a close and close of rupees budget to make Sagarmala effective? Therefore, let PM or other minister don't boast about your ease of doing business or of Sagarmala or Make in India or anything unless until you establish, make it clear to the people of India all these things are me, all these projects are me. Therefore, unless you make it clear to the people of India what is making in India, Sagarmala, or other things, you should not boast of those things. Thank you very much. Thank you.